Jerry go. Ah, don't they you love him? <laughs> they love you, Let Jerry. him know. Let him know. Come on. Woo. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Jim, you've... Uh, I've had the pleasure of working with uh, Brother Jerry uh, for the last uh, five years uh, on this program. You've known him how long? About 30-some years. He's one of the most uh, wonderful, humble Christian gentlemen. What you see is what he is. Yes. And I know that uh, in this day when there's so much made for television religion, it's wonderful to find a good, solid Christian that you can see right through. And while you're looking, you see the Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, I tell you, he's uh, been around a long time, and he's done so very much for Southern Gospel music, and that's why he's the president of it, you know. And he, he's he, the what? He's the president of, uh, you know, the, the Hall of Fame and all that, and the Southern Gospel music and all that. He didn't get that title just because he shows up. I didn't know he had the title, Jim. Well, it's one of them, something like that. Now I'm intimidated. Are you? Yes, sir. Well, what do you think he is? You be, you, another thing, though, I mean, this guy, he's been with everybody under the sun. He's been with Billy Graham's organization. He's been with uh, John Hagee's organization. You've well, been who? who where, uh, well, day star, day get star, closer to the, mic. the Day Star there Network out of Dallas, Texas, and it goes back several years ago. There was a program around a few people know about, PTL. I was the founder of that. I, I mean, uh, would you like to know anything else that I did? I'm, I'm just, I'm in awe of all of you, dear folks. Well, the Lord's let me be a part of a lot of things, and I'm very grateful to it and very appreciative. We've had a wonderful life together, and my wife and I, and I tell you, to, to be able to praise the Lord and to meet all wonderful people like this all over the world where we've traveled, in Africa, England, uh, the Middle East, uh, Korea, Japan, and all the places that I've been, it just amazes it, me it, that it, a boy out of the foothills of Tennessee could do that. You're a lot older than you look, Jim. I hope when I'm your age, I got hair that color. I hope I just have hair. <laughs> well, we better go to the next singers, hey, and I'm going to let you introduce those. They've been organized and singing since 1970. They're from North Carolina. Hey. Hey, they have got a number one song for July and August, and that's intimidating, too. It's a wonderful song. They're pretty good singers. And it's called, in, Is Anything Too Hard for God? And y'all heard that? Yeah. They've had, yeah. They've, and you'll probably hear it again tonight. They've had 15 chart songs. They're on the United Independent Artists label. And uh, one of the things that's unique about them, they are the, they've had a number one song on an independent label, and that is unique. You're going to love them again tonight. You welcome Come the Wisdom.